It is the 5th of the 10th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start you off with Scott Detnet tonight. Uh, Arizona, deadly dust storm north of Tuxkin. 50 vehicles involved, and they've got some video on that. They've been shooting it on the, at least the Weather Channel all day. Um, some pretty severe dust storms going on. Uh, they got a story, U.S. tropics threaten Florida, severe weather in the plains, and they're forecasting um, severe weather. Rare subsea earthquakes rattles Bermuda. Uh, the western Atlantic island of Bermuda, which has been hit by its first earthquake in over a decade in April, has been rattled by two moderate quakes. Uh, the earthquakes, both measuring 4.5 magnitude on the Richter scale, struck at 10.18 p.m. and 11.36 p.m. local. Anak Krakatau has erupted. That's the child of Krakatau. Uh, again, the loudest sound ever heard by mankind when, it, when the big one erupted. Uh, they've got some video involved. Uh, seems like a very major eruption. They're saying uh, three kilometers into the sky, the ash was thrown up, so it's just getting started, I'm guessing. I uh, found more dead dolphins uh, on the coast of Java, and it's still a mystery. And over to the extinction protocol. Uh, they're reporting double eruptions. Kamachka's Selvich volcano unleashes H. 8 kilometer ash cloud and Anaka Krakatau is 3 kilometers. So we got two majors and you got to remember the one up in Russia is um, <clears throat> blowing all into into that toxic ash coming out of Japan and uh, mixing with our weather here. Syria threatens to attack Israel if NATO intervenes in inter internal conflict and uh, more saber rattling going on world sees so much precipitation, ocean levels fall. And uh, they have a chart on this, and uh, they're asking where did the water go, and of course we know where the water went, uh, Pakistan, and all the flooding reports that we've been going on and on and on all year about. And over to the RSOE. Uh, got more forest fires coming out in Texas. Uh, apparently 50 homes were destroyed in uh, Bastrop. And uh, this is the place where they lost 1,500 homes not too long ago in these uh, massive wildfires that's going on in the, the disaster zone historic that is the drought of Texas and uh, central United States right now. Tornadoes reported out of New Zealand. Uh, apparently small tornadoes were reported, small hail. Uh, they have some extreme weather coming through the area uh, for the next day or two, and they're, re they're expecting uh, small tornadoes are possible. And it is their fall. No, it'd be their spring. Yeah, it'd be your spring. Because it's our fall, of course. And in the state of Maryland, Allegheny County, uh, several 911 calls reporting a streak and a large flash that lit up the entire sky. Uh, they're talking it uh, might be a meteorite, but uh, they're definitely looking into it. But uh, no official, it was a meteorite yet. And uh, out of Switzerland, they are reporting a non-categorized event. These always pique my interest. Apparently, uh, Geisen Glacier, a big glacier in Switzerland, uh, they might lose a 12 football field size hunk of this glacier because they found a big crevasse forming there, and they're saying that might let go at any time. And uh, the consequences of that... Uh, Spaceweather.com tonight, geomagnetic storm watch. NOAA forecasters estimate a 30% of minor geomagnetic storms on October 5th and 6th as a series of two or three CMEs swept past our planet. High latitude sky watchers should be an alert for auroras. And you remember that was that double bang right after the comet hit um, a few days ago <clears throat> that uh, they finally had to fess up due to all of our efforts. Uh, getting the, the videos out, and uh, much thanks goes to all channels uh, who put that out as far as the comet striking the sun, creating those CMEs, and uh, we expect them any time now, uh, but they're not supposed to be too severe. Ice Age 
our Ice Age Now last night, uh, Tahoe, earliest return of winter conditions since 1969, just 96 days since the last snow. Uh, they got the Krakatoa eruption, they got a story, Herman Cain, man-made global warming is poppycock. They manipulated the data, well no shit. And uh, up to 20 inches of snow expected in the Sierra Nevada um, valleys. A very early winter storm to affect the southern Sierra Nevada late Tuesday night through Wednesday night. Dangerous early season storm. So uh, here we go already. Um, the switch is on. It's coming from the south to the north. And I know the southern hemisphere had one heck of a winter this year. And uh, ongoing. Here we go. Record breaking. So enjoy what you can. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you later. Thanks.